Yo, what's good? This is your boy Jay Howard, and today I want to talk about a real, real serious topic. This topic is entitled Racism. Um, one of my viewers sent me an a email, a message rather on Facebook, and he said, Jay, I love watching your videos, and I noticed something that you never tackle race. He said, Jay, I would like to know your opinion. He's a black guy. Actually, no, I take that back. He was mixed. He was a mixed guy. He wasn't totally, I think he, he was mixed black and Irish. And he, he said his mother was Irish and his father was black. Um, he said, do I ever think, the question was, do I ever think that black people will ever be treated fairly? Will we ever be equals other minorities or other races of people? Will we ever be accepted? you know, as a whole, as a person, and we all be treated equal. I told him, and I'm going to tell him through this video, I sent him some stuff in the reply, but you, you know, I told you I was going to do the video, so I'm going to address some things I didn't address when I replied back to you. My opinion, as far as race, me being an Afro-American, a person of dark skin tone, dark skin color, however you want to call it, in this day and age that I live in, 2012, I'll probably live to be 80, 90 years old, maybe 100. I don't think that it would get to the point where black people are treated fairly. And I think when I say this, it's not because of, of a rule of white America or whatever. It's not because of that. When I look at this whole thing with race and all the things that black people have been through, all the things that white people have been through, Jewish people, people of all types of races, the things they've been to, the world is circulating. And throughout time, everybody, every race has experienced um, some type of superiority from another race where they were dominated by another race. That has happened all over the world. And it's probably going to continue to happen until this great place we call the world blow up. You know what I mean? That's a figure of speech. I think that with all the freedom fighters, black people I'm talking about, I'm just going to use black people for an example. Throughout the last, let's say, 400 years, since slavery up to now, we have seen a dramatic change, you know, with as far as how whites view blacks, how whites view um, other minorities, how they view Mexicans, Hisp uh, Hispanics, Mexicans, Asian people, whoever. We have seen the world come more close-knit Throughout time, we have. We can go back to a day where the majority of whites in America, it was the end thing to hate black people, you know, because of slavery. But we have come a long way since then, but not far enough. And I think on my watch, what I mean by my watch and my time on this planet, I don't think that I will ever see a day when racism is totally wiped out and where justice is totally for humanity and everybody can live equally and fairly. I don't think that's going to happen on our watch. Anybody that's watching this video on YouTube, I don't think none of us are going to see it. I think it's all in the world that we build for ourselves while we're here. We can't fix the world. Nobody can fix the world. Only thing we can do is influence it. You know, it's one thing to never forget your history and forget where you come from. But it's another thing to not live in the past also. You know, it's a lot of things that I think we get stuck at as black people when we try to move forward, our feet are moving forward, but our neck is looking backwards. And true enough, it's a lot of things, a lot of things we're going through in this day and age. But we have to live for our time. When I say our time, I'm talking about me and your time that we have on this planet right now. And the best thing we can do is try to make it better for our kids and teach our kids, plant a seed in our kids to try to make it better for their, for their kids by being better examples. You know what I mean? It's so much going on in the world that's self-inflicted, not just racism, because racism exists, and that's some strong, heavy shit. But it's a lot of things that we self-inflict on ourselves as a race, too, that's more important than looking back in the history and kind of fight, kind of like, you know, really want to want to fight for a freedom that we already really have. You know what I mean? We have... Freedom to do a lot of things right now. We're not in shackles, you know. And a lot of people 
are really wasting their time not taking advantage of that. It's just like with the black president thing. You know, a lot of people, they took that and ran with it. And I have nothing against Obama. I, I, I mean, I have nothing against Obama. I voted for Obama. I think Obama is a cool president. But my faith and my life is not based on a president, whether it was white, black, Jew, Hispanic, Christian, Muslim, whoever. My faith is not based on that at all. I'm self-governed for one. I'm going to do the best I can for me and mine first of all before I put the faith of my hand in anybody. And I think with a lot of black people, that became a fad because President Obama was black and we felt like because we got a black president, the burden has been lifted. And the day after the election, the same problems you had before you voted, you still had them. This is not blaming Obama. This is not looking at him as a savior either. A lot of stuff that we go through it's a lot of self-inflicted stuff that we go through as far as our health. We fight for health care, but the way we treat our bodies with the things we eat. It's a lot of self-inflicted things we go through that we can fix ourselves as a people. You know what I mean? I'm talking about as an individual, white, black, whoever you are. As far as the race thing, it's the cards that was dealt, man. You know what I mean? We happen to be born in a time where white and black can't coexist to a certain degree. White and Mexican can't coexist to a certain degree. Black and Chinese can't coexist to a certain degree. White and black can't coexist to a certain degree. This is the time period we born in. Think about this. Would you trade 2012 in to grow up in 1747? You know what I mean? Hell no. You take 2012 all day. You ask a person from two, uh, 1747, would he want to go back to 325 A.D.? He probably take what he, you know, what he dealt, the cards he dealt. It's the nature of it all. This world is, is going to be what it's going to be. I just think that the best thing anybody can do is try to take advantage of the time you have on this planet. Because all the things of this planet, they don't go with you in death. None of it. God don't want to hear the stories of racism. Because to, to die and to tell God about racism and to tell God about the earth it's as if telling God he was blind. You know what I mean? You didn't see none of this, God, did you? So I'm going to tell you about it. I guess, you know, race is something that, man, you know, it's a condition that was taught, man. You know, you got to think, uh, think of black people while we was even brought here. We weren't brought here to be loved. We was brought here to, for labor. You know what I mean? So we weren't brought here to be friends, really, with nobody. You know what I mean? We was brought here to be slaves and to be servants. And it's something only you can go so far talking about that facet of your life or your history or our history. We only can go so far with that before it gets to the point where we got to pump the brakes and say, right now, what do I do to make my life worth living right now? Do I keep moving my feet forward and have my neck turned backwards and try to make my own history right now instead of trying to repeat history? You know, I never make videos and say that it ain't hard for a black man on this planet. It's hard as hell for a black man on this planet. But what I would want to do more than anything than to point any fingers, I would look at the fact that the freedoms you do have, the opportunities you do ha you have, and all the chances you have to rewrite your own history in this day and age. A lot of us don't think forward, we think backwards. And on your watch, that means your time. Right now, you have to make these moments history. Make this moment great history for your life. I think a lot of us, man, we too stuck on the opinion of how people view, especially black people. We stuck on how the world view us and we stuck on trying to prove to other races that we finally figured it out. We lay bloomers for one. We, we weren't brought here with a fair shake, but it's not saying that you and me don't have a fair shake. Now, me and you have a fair shake. Me and you don't have a reason to be racist about anything. You know what I mean? Me and you can go out. We got an opportunity. We got freedom. You know what I mean? But a lot of us don't take advantage of those freedoms. So to ask the question as far as racism, I don't think on our watch it will be totally. I don't think everybody in the world is racist. I think there are racist white people. I think there are racist black people. I think there's racist Chinese people. I think there's racist Puerto Rican people, Mexican, Hispanic. I think Every race has racism, racist people. Every skin color of every human being will have 
someone from that race being a racist. So I don't think on our watch, I think probably in another 800 years, the world might evolve around to where it's probably a whole whole breed of people and it's not even a white and black thing anymore. You know, it can be a total brown thing. It could be, you know, it might just be a whole different race of people. You know, it might probably not even be based off white and black anymore seven, eight hundred years from now. So I, what I would say is that um, I don't think on our watch is going to ever end. I don't. I think we just have to live, take your time, be kind to whoever you, whatever race that person is. Be kind to them. The man respect you, respect them as they respect you, and live and try not to let your history of your forefathers be something that stop you from living on your watch. Take this time right now, I would say, and live on your watch. I want to know what you guys think. Do you ever think that racism would end? Do you ever think it would be a day when white and black can live together or black can be happy and proud to be in America or on this planet without having to go through any of the things that we go through as people of color? We're not the only ones, but this is a question I'm posing because I was asked to post this question. So I want to hear what you guys think about the race thing. Till next time, I'm your boy, Jay Howard. Peace.